The next section is create a static look. This is the most simplest way to create looks in Enlighten. And basically what we're going to do is select our fixtures, set them to the look that we would like, and then save them to a button. So I've opened up my 3D visualizer here so we can see a virtual view of what we would see on stage. And again, the first thing I'm gonna suggest is we hit clear all. That makes sure we know our starting point is clear and we don't have anything running. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all the, the baby colors, select all the baby colors. Now keep in mind, you can hold your shift key down and select just the baby colors you would like, but we're gonna use the rubber band method and we're gonna select all the baby colors. We're gonna initialize them. And I'm gonna click here to my RGB palette and let's say we want them yellow. Okay, so we have our baby colors yellow. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and select all my spot bots and we're gonna set them to a color as well. Let's try, ooh, that's gonna be hard to see. Let's try green there. Then I can move over here to uh, joystick and I can actually, if you see when I put my mouse over the little round dot there in the center, you, my first spot bot is highlighting. That means I can individually move that spot bot to the position that I want. And then again, if I move to the center dot again, I'm now on my other spot bot and we're gonna go ahead and move all these in position as we would like them on the stage. So we have now set our static scene and the next step would be to basically save this button. So I'm gonna hit save changes as button and this first section up here indicates that we're going to cross fade in and out of this scene. So we're gonna go ahead and check that and select one second cross fade in and out. This next section um, is default. That means we're going to save all the channels that we touched. We can actually only save pan or tilt or color or gobo or beyond that you can, you can customize it and actually select any of the groups of channels that you'd like. But by default, we're gonna save all channels. We're gonna use the fade scenes and sequence fade time, which is what was programmed in there. And it's going to auto start. Now we can enable sequence preview. This will give us a preview of what colors and gobos are in that look. Um, I'll go ahead and enable that and then I'll just name this look one and we're gonna save that. Now all the new buttons that get created will be positioned here on the bottom right and you will see that the the instructions say place the button or move it in the uh, in your desired position on page now if i just click on the page it will position it on the top left and i can also manually move it but so for ease of of illustration we're just going to click on the page and now my look one is there okay so let's create one more static look just to make sure that um uh, we've explored the topic uh, deep enough. So we have look one active here. Um, let's say I wanna go ahead and change look one. So I'm actually gonna select all my fixtures and let's say I want them all to be blue or let's say magenta. Okay, so I've now made that change. What I can do now is save changes as button but rename it to look two. I'm again going to save my sequence preview and select crossfade in and out. My new look shows up here on the bottom right. I click on the page and it auto positions it next to the other look. So now I can cross fade between those two looks. And again, these are static scenes. And, um, and then if I release this look, they'll fade out. So that is how to create a static look and enlighten. Coming up next, we're gonna talk about creating a moving look.